Hey everyone, and welcome back to the shop. A few people noticed in my last video that I was using a different sander. And so I thought I'd make a quick video announcing that I'm now working with Surf Prep. And I first found out about this sander from watching Richard over at Finnish Carpentry TV. And uh, he made a video just about this sander. I'll put a link to that video in the description actually, uh, because he's got more time with the sander than I do. But I looked at that video and I thought, if it's good enough for Richard, it's gonna be good enough for me. And I reached out to Surf Prep and I'm now working with them with an affiliate program. So if you were to buy one of their sanders and use my coupon code, you'll get 10% off and I'll get the credit for the sale. So this is the three by four Surf Prep sander and it's got a few different density sponges that you can use and you'll use them with different applications, different moldings. The softer sponges are going to wrap around moldings and things like that. And I've only been using it for a month, but so far I really like it. It just has a very nice feel to it. It's very ergonomic with the way it feels. It has a 12 foot cord, which I really like. And it's a really high quality cord that's not going to tangle up on you. And I plug the cord right into my uh, what is that? A CT15 Festool vacuum. I picked one of these up at the lumber yard about a month ago when I got the sander. And so now I'm doing all my sanding dust free. And the idea here is you've got the sander plugged into the vacuum, the vacuum's in the sander, and so now uh, you're all set up to go and you just hit the button. It turns on the sander and it turns on the vacuum. So really, um, it's just really, really nice and it, and it works well. So I don't have a ton of experience with it, but you can just tell right off the bat, it's a really high quality sander. The other sander that I'm using from Surf Prep is the five inch orbital sander. And this has got a 3 16 orbit. So it really removes a lot of material. And it's the same situation where you can plug it, you can see how long this cord is. You plug it into the sander, and since it's not plugged in now, it's not going to turn on, but you hit that with your, kind of the palm of your hand, it turns on and has a very natural, comfortable feel. It's also variable speed, so you can sand at a, a slower or faster rate, whatever you're more comfortable with. So that's just a quick shout out to these sanders. I'll leave a link in the description, you can go ahead and learn a little bit more about them. You're gonna be seeing them a lot more on the channel because these are pretty much the only sanders that I'll be using. So uh, that's just a quick message about the sanders. And then I wanted to talk real quick about this project. This is my next project, it's a planter. And this is a fun project because I've got the opportunity to build two. So I've gone ahead and built one with the idea that the next one I'll build on camera and I've already figured everything out. I'll have my cut list. And as I was building this, I, I wanted to make it with turned legs. So I did, you can see the bottom of the legs here. I'll get a close up shot. I've got turned legs at the bottom. So if you have a lathe, this is a fun project to get some practice working on your wood lathe. But if you don't have a lathe, I don't want you to feel that you can't build this project. So I thought I'd make a short video just on making a similar lathe, not lathe, a similar leg, uh, just using the table saw, something that I think is going to look nice, something that will still work with this design, but it's, um, it's gonna be somewhat simple but it's also gonna be a pretty short video because it's just really going to focus on the, uh, the making of the leg. So if you'd like to see that video, what I'll do is I'll make that project video and post it two or three days before this video gets posted, which will probably be sometime early to mid next week. And, and that way, if you do wanna make this planter, you you're not held back because you don't have a lathe. So if you'd like to see that video, just leave it in the comments. If there's enough um, good feedback and interest in making a separate video, I'll definitely do that. Uh, probably will do it anyway, just because I'm kind of excited now to see 
see how this leg is going to turn out. The one that I'm uh, designing in my mind right now, I'll probably just use the table saw and a chamfer bit in the router. It'll be a different look, but I think it will still look good. So anyway, a uh, quick look at this planter here. This is what my wife calls an English style planter. It's going to have a cedar bottom. And the nice thing about this is I designed it to have a plastic insert because I think the weak link on a planter like this is the fact that the, the wet soil on the inside eventually rots them out. So the idea here is I've designed it around this container. This container will go in once the, once the cedar bottom is in. And that way you can make maybe store the planter in the garage over the winter and take this part out. Of course it's not gonna fit right now. There it goes. So anyway, that is how this is going to work. And I think that that is going to be, uh, I think that's going to really help with this planter lasting for a long time. Real quick about the uh, material that I've made this planter out of. Uh, Red Grandis is what I used, which is, it's uh, a much faster growing tree and it's also less expensive than Sapili. And then all of the, um, all of the 1x6 and 1x4 is made out of Polonia, which is a finger jointed material that I get over at Monteith Lumber. And it holds up really well outside, but you could also build the same thing with Eastern pine, uh, I guess that's, uh, uh, you know, your common pine that you're going to get at the home store. You'll probably notice that I almost never build anything with pine and that's because I've developed an allergy to pine. So anytime I can avoid using pine and still use something that is a good wood for exterior use, that's what I do. So anyway, that's it. Uh, again, you can learn more about these sanders at the link in the description. If you want to see a different design for the leg for this planter, let me know and I will do that. Have a great day and thanks for tuning in.